Hey there, how are you? This is Elliot Seiflet, uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, what we have, a feature that we have uh, starting from LDK version 7.1 uh, and above. Uh, it is called dynamic memory. Now, we know that uh, inside the key, inside the protection key, we have uh, memory, uh, which can be uh, either used for features, uh, every feature that you add uh, takes some of the uh, amount of the memory content that we have, but also you can use it for read-write and read-only memory. Uh, and these are def defined by the key, the protection key. Each protection key has its own space for, uh, for, for features, another space for read-only memory, another space for the read-write memory. Uh, and here this dynamic memory is, as a matter of fact, uh, a feature that you, as an ISV, as a software vendor, is able to uh, define for yourself, for your key, protection key, exactly how amount of memory will go to the features, uh, how much memory will go to the read-only, and how much memory for the read-write. Uh, it also allows you to uh, use, as a matter of fact, larger memory up to 26 kilobytes instead of uh, the previous 6 kilobytes. As I said, it's uh, starting from LDK 7.1. However, another uh, limitation or um, some, uh, some important note to uh, remember is the fact that it can be done only with Sentinel HL, which are configured as driverless. Okay, this is very important. Um, of course, we recommend that each key will be uh, configured as driverless, and this you, this way you are going to get all the benefits and the new features that uh, we are, we have uh, already implemented. But we are going to implement furthermore in the future. Uh, one of them is the dynamic memory. Now, currently, with uh, IDK 7.1, this uh, dynamic memory, meaning the ability to uh, define how much you want to divide your memory, uh, can be done only by LeakGen API and not by the EMS. The EMS support will be done in the future. Let me show you how it is done uh, using the LeakGen API. So, there is an XML. This is the type of XML. And inside the XML, you are able to define uh, read-only memory, read-write memory, and read-write once, meaning that uh, you read, you write only once, uh, and then that's it, you can only read it. Uh, this is uh, another type of um, memory, uh, and each one of them is, a, is as a matter of fact, a file, and then you define a find, and, in, and for each file, you define uh, the content of it, uh, the size of it, uh, and the type of it. So you are able to uh, define everything uh, inside, uh, all the information you have inside the documentation of LDK 7.1, and also we have uh, in the toolbox, uh, you can uh, see, uh, use it and, and see how it works. Thank you for watching.